Plum Bobs are your friend. A four foot scale. These suckers are awesome. You know, I've never cleaned any windows with it, all right? I just think it's just an, an awesome son of a So what I want to talk about today are tools that'll make your life so much easier uh, when you're laying out your jig table and everything you're going to do with your jig table. So uh, let's get right to it. A drywaller's T-square. Uh, these things are awesome for uh, setting up a, uh, a jig table. You know, they're, they're uh, four feet long, which means they almost, you know, go all the way across a piece of uh, white melamine. Uh, they're already set up to be square. You know, you can just square it right up to the edge of your table. Uh, I mean, they're, they're awesome. Uh, if you're going to lay out a jig table, you've got to have a drywaller's T-square. In addition to the drywaller's T-square, you're going to want a, a carpenter's square. Carpenter's square, machinist square, whatever you want to call it. But uh, once you have your drywaller's T-square on there, uh, you can run down uh, whatever increments, which is really nice. The things are drywaller's T-square is already laid out in inch increments. You can put your, your, your square here anywhere you want. Make your mark. And there you go. You got a, a pinpoint location and uh, everything is uh, 90 degrees and true. Dry erase markers. Lots of dry erase markers in all kinds of colors, all kinds of configurations. Can't have too many dry erase markers. You know, I'm going to lay out the basic uh, fuselage geometry, uh, probably in black or whatever, and then I'll do changes. Uh, in a different contrasting color. That way they don't, they don't uh, blend together. So uh, uh, the more different uh, colors you can get, uh, the more different types and sizes, uh, the better. You know, plus you can write yourself uh, notes. Bend angle here. Put bracket here. Pick up mustard and toothpaste. Whatever. A four foot scale. These suckers are awesome. If they had them in six feet uh, versions, I, I would get it. You know, uh, I, I love them. They're, uh, they're strong. You know, they're not going to deflect. You know, you can lay them out across your, uh, your table. You know, say you got your points all laid out. You can clamp it down, draw your line across there. <clears throat> they're awesome. You know, I'm a lot better than trying to, to you know, trace a, um, a, a tape measure or something like that. Like I say, I wish they came in six feet. Clamps. You're going to want a lot of these clamps. Uh, they're cheap. They're really strong, actually. And uh, you've probably seen me use them uh, with the drywaller's T-square. You know, I get it all squared up and uh, just clamp it in place, you know, and you can go and put another one on the other end. Uh, it holds everything really rigid. You can hold, uh, you know, plumb bob line with it. Uh, they're, they're awesome. Uh, you're, gonna wanna, you're gonna want several of these. I've been using Windex in the shop for years and uh, not for cleaning windows. I mean, I just think it's an awesome cleaner, you know, and I know I'm using dry erase markers. You can use anything to uh, clean the dry erase uh, marker off. Uh, I mean, they even make erasers just for it, but it works so well when you, when you uh, spray Windex on it. It just comes so clean and then cleans the surface as well. And what I like to use for, uh, you know, cleaning uh, dry erase markers off, and plus just having these around the shop too, are diapers, okay? You know, by design, they're absorbent, right? Okay, and so they just do such a good job of cleaning. I mean, I, I just love them. You know, and, and again, you can buy these really inexpensively, uh, you know, at most stores. So, um, uh, you know, uh, diapers and, and Windex, man, that's the hot ticket. Except for the diapers and the dry erase markers, pretty much everything that I've listed is available at a home improvement center. You know, I would think uh, uh, any of the major a hardware store, you know, chain home improvement centers would have all this stuff. And it's not very expensive and it'll make your life so much easier. And of course, another essential for any hanger is a uh, fully stocked refrigerator. 
you know, if the spirit is really moving and uh, you're getting a lot of work done, you don't even have to go home. Plum bobs and plum bob line. Plum bobs are your friend, okay? Especially when the fuselage starts getting full length and uh, you've got it on your table there and you're gonna start welding in your, your cross and diagonal pieces and all that. Man, drop all kinds of plumb bobs. Make sure that thing stays straight down the line. Now, being kind of an old school guy as well as being an old guy, um, I prefer the, the old school brass plumb bobs. You know, they just have a really cool look and you know, it's what all the, my mentors when I was a, a kid used. And, um, uh, but these, uh, these work just as well. Uh, they're cheap. And uh, the good news is, is that the laws of gravity apply to these cheap plum bobs just like they do the really cool old school brass plum bobs. So either way you go, whether you go with the brass ones or the, these, they both work just as well. And, and again, plum bobs are your friend. Well, that's a start. I probably forgot 47,392 other items to list, but uh, with that short list of items, uh, you should be on your way. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.